My name is Kalia Torgerson. I am a graduate student in my second year of my master's and I am the graduate assistant for intramural sports at Texas A&M Rec Sports. So my name is Sharla Spears and I am a BIMS major and I work as a group fitness instructor at Rec Sports. I teach Body Blaster as well as Club Dance and Sunday Dance and I have a good time doing it. My motivations are really my students. I want to provide a great example and be a great mentor for all students but specifically female students because I know it's a little bit harder being in this field as a female. Um, a self-motivation that I have is pushing myself to be the best that I can be in every situation that I'm in. The thing that motivates me for my job is just knowing that not only am I helping other people with their fitness goals, but I'm also helping myself with my fitness goals. So it keeps me going that I know that I'm also benefiting from teaching, from um, practicing dances, practicing warm-ups and everything. It just it helps me know that I'm also helping me. The challenges I face in intramural sports is a lot of doubt due to my gender. Um, a lot of people don't believe when I step out on the basketball court or on a football field training officials that I know what I'm talking about because I'm a female. Um, and so I really have to push myself past that and know that I do know what I'm talking about and that I can do it. One of the challenges is just trying to know that you can't stay in your head the whole time. It's really easy to get stuck in your head that maybe you're not meant for the job, maybe your um, fitness ability isn't like the best, but it's good to just know that you were meant for this job and you're working hard at it and you love it. And that's one of the challenges that I had to go through and I feel good about like where I'm at right now. What I've learned from my challenges is to have a lot of self-confidence um, and to study up on what I am doing. I research um, female participation, I research the best ways to train officials, and I really stick to those things just so I know when I go out there that I know exactly what I'm doing and if somebody tells me that I'm wrong, that I sit there and try to explain why I teach the way that I do. and. That way I can collaborate with them on if they have a better way for me to teach. I learned how to just take a step back and really put focus on the little things. Um, I put focus on like the little successes. So maybe I squatted a little lower, maybe I like jumped a little higher and that really makes me feel a lot better about what I'm doing. It makes me feel like I'm actually progressing and it kind of just nips the whole entire idea that maybe I'm not meant for it, just nip it in the bud. The advice I would give to other women in this field would be to stick behind your call and this goes far beyond just officiating. It goes in every aspect of intramural sports. If you think that you are correct or that you know the answer, stand behind that and don't be scared. Don't back down just because somebody doubts what you're saying. No matter what your background is, what your body type is, um, how, what ener energy level you have, you are meant for this. Don't psych yourself out. If you think that you can do it and you have a love for fitness, you have a love for moving, then you are perfect for the job. And if you have something that you really, really like about it, go for it. A fun fact about me is I worked in a gold mine for three years while I lived in Nevada and I was the only female in the maintenance department. This is kind of weird. So I can do a perfect Elmo impression. La 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 la, la 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 la, Elmo's world. <laughs>